Hey everyone, thank you very much for joining me for another manga haul. This time it's from March. I think some of this actually I bought in um, in February as well, but uh, I think the majority of stuff um, was bought in March. Uh, first thing I want to show is actually something that I picked up by mistake thinking it was English, but um, anyway, it was uh, Emerald by Hiroaki Samura. Um, this is actually in French, unfortunately. I don't, I don't speak French, and I've wanted this for the longest time, but unfortunately the English version, the Dark Horse version, is uh, is out of print. Um, I mean, still, the, this is a beautiful little book, as you can see. Um, not a really good kind of, you know, big pages, you know, nice, nice little dust jacket with a um, original kind of sketchy sort of cover there. Um, so I don't know, I'm not... Obviously, I can't read this, so if, if any of you watching speak French, <laughs> hit me up because, um, yeah, if, if you want this, let me know. Or if you know anybody who speaks French and are into uh, one-shot manga, it's just a single volume, um, let me know because this isn't going to be staying in my collection for, for long. Hopefully, I'm going to try and get rid of this as soon as I possibly can. So if you want it, just let me know. Okay, so now on to the English manga. Um, I was very lucky to finally be able to pick up uh, Volume 1 of No Longer Human by uh, um, Usamaru Furuya based on uh, Osama Dazai's novel. There's Volume 1 there. Um, I do also have Volume 2 and 3 as you can see here which is the full series. I've had these for a number of years now as I picked them up for £1 when they were selling them off in Forbidden Planet a couple of years ago picked up this on Facebook Marketplace which I was really lucky to find um, as it's long out of print. Uh, I read it I read this this week and, um, and it was okay. Um, I'm currently reading the Junji Ito version of No Longer Human um, and so far I uh, I think I prefer that version but I only I'm only I'm only three chapters into it so far. Uh, but this was good. Yeah it, it was enjoyable but I say enjoyable it's not really something to enjoy per se as it's all about mental health difficulties and suicide and horrible things like that. Okay, let's see, uh, another long out of print series that I was very lucky to find was uh, Swallowing the Earth by Osama Tezuka which is um, Digital Manga Publishing's first published Osama Tezuka title I believe. Um, as you can see DMP Platinum there on the spine. And this is a, I believe this is a three in one. Um, and I also believe this was Tezuka's first foray into adult manga or Gekiga. Uh, I don't know if it's Gekiga officially or if it was just Gekiga inspired, but uh, apparently it's a lot more mature. So uh, anyway, I was really, I was really happy to, to get this. I ended up winning this on an eBay auction. I uh, got the winning bid, which um, usually my luck is really bad when it comes to eBay auctions. Now that we've got the function where you can bid up to a certain amount, um, I don't know how long that feature has been, you know, built into eBay, but I'm definitely making good use of that feature um, now when I come across stuff, uh, you know, mostly art print stuff that I, you can find on on eBay. But yeah, I mean, the artwork looks very typically Tezuka, as you can see. Um, I'm obviously yet to read this, so, so that's that. Um, this is the first Tezuka in a very, very long time I've actually managed to pick up. Um, Okay, uh, let's see next. Uh, I was very lucky to, well, uh, I feel lucky at least to be able to finish on a series which is uh, Monster by Naoki Urasawa. We've got volume four, volume five, volume six, volume seven, volume eight, and volume nine, which completes the 18 volume long series of the nine volume in these two, two in one omnibuses. And this is the first time that I've officially um, owned all of Monster, as I did have the singles before, but I was missing three volumes. I think volume three, eight and nine, uh, if I recall, which were the, like the rarest single volume. So I'm really happy to finally um, own all of this. And it was out of stock for, uh, for a very long time. Um, oh, for, for, for quite a while um, this summer, so I was, I was hoping that it wasn't going to go out of print again. Um, but it is my aim to collect all of Naoki Urasawa's manga. Um, 
I think I own I own everything except for volume one of Asadora and I believe volume two and three have been syndicated on Amazon and Book Depository and what have you. Um, so yeah, I I almost I own ninety nine percent of all of now Purosawa's manga in that that are being released in English, which I'm really happy about. Um, okay, another another eBay auction win, um, which I was very lucky to get. In fact, it wasn't even an auction; it was just the seller was selling it for a certain price, I think about thirty pound, and I watched it, and then he sent me an offer um, saying he was going to he'd, he'd reduce it by five pound. And I've already done an unboxing of this, so if you've seen this already, then you'll know I already have it, and that's um, King Gear used books volume one. Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. Um, I've read this as well. Um, if you've watched my recent um, manga wrap-up video for, for March, then you'll know um, my general thoughts on this. Um, four volumes were released in English. This is under the signature Iki line. So this was published in Monthly Iki in Japan, which kind of um, publishes a lot of sort of, not necessarily experimental, but more off the beaten track style stories. Um, and this this was a really nice read. Um, it's got pretty cool artwork, um, as you can see. Uh, let's see if we can find something else that's quite nice. There we go, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, a nice fun little series. It is originally 17 or 18 volumes in Japan, um, but we only got four volumes, so unfortunately that will never be complete. Um, let's see, I've started or I guess restarted, double dipped on a series. Um, I got volume one of Blade of the Immortal in these beautiful um, deluxe editions. Uh, I am kind of disappointed that Dark Horse decided to keep it flipped. Um, so it does read in, in the English left to right um, orientation. So they've done the same thing as they did with the, with the singles where um, the, the panels are literally copy and pasted and there's art inconsistencies. Um, based on obviously the flipping, um, some some panels that had to flip, which was kind of yeah, it, it makes for an inconsistent read, but it doesn't detract away too much because the story is really good anyway. So you know you just kind of have to suspend your disbelief a little bit when it comes to certain um, art inconsistencies. And with these, there's unfortunately no color pages, which again was kind of disappointing. Um, but again, you know they they're, they're still really beautiful releases, and I'm really really glad to own these um, or own this one. I know volume two is out, so I'm picking that up as and when. Um, similarly, uh, I also picked up um, volume six of the Berserk hardcovers. At the time that I picked this up last month, this was up to date, but I'm aware that volume seven has just come out. So that'll be what, um, 21 volumes. So this collects up to volume uh, six or well, 18. So 18 volumes of Berserk, um, roughly maybe about halfway through. Um, obviously because it'll adapt it to volume 41 maybe by the time these are released I, I don't know um, when a volume 41 in the singles will come out but hopefully Kentaro Miura will um, carry this on soon I don't know but yeah uh, just absolutely ace edition and these thankfully do come with colour pages as these are the uh, covers of the volumes um, that are contained in this beautiful book okay um See, I'll show you this big box next. So again, if you've watched my um, March manga wrap-up video, then you know I've already got this. But in March, I picked up oh, Dragon Ball, uh, the complete box set. Again, eBay uh, got this for fifty percent off, brand new. Really happy with that. Um, it's all volumes one to sixteen. I'm going to hold this because it doesn't fit on the shelf. Um, one to sixteen of the original um, series first 16 volumes of the 42 volume series that is Dragon Ball as a whole. Um, just Goku in his youth, you know, collecting Dragon Balls, fighting the Red Ribbon Army, um, you know, characters that don't, you know, frequently appear in Dragon Ball Z are obviously main players in this, like Bulma, Yamcha, Puar, Oolong, Master Roshi, Trillin, to a lesser extent. Um, but yeah, no, I, I read through this and if you want to know my thoughts, then go ahead and watch my... Um, manga wrap-up video uh, for March. There you go. Really interested. And finally, again, this is another double dip as I did originally own the singles um, until I sold them earlier last year. Uh, so now I'm picking up the 
these are double positions. These are uh, Kanzen bombs, so one and a half volumes, so they are semi omnibus. Uh, and that's um, the full metal editions of Full Metal Alchemist. So, volume two, volume three, volume four. I, I actually thought this was stained, as you can see, um, Razor Hawkeye on the cover there. And I thought that kind of colouring there was staining, but it's just smoke from from her from her rifle. But it does look like a coffee stain, but it's not. Actually. Volume five. And finally, volume six. So I'm halfway through collecting what's released of this as of April 2021. Um, volume 12 has just come out, and I believe that's got Winry, Winry Rockbell on the cover. Um, but yeah, these are awesome. I mean, what 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 else can can be said about Full, full Metal Alchemist that hasn't been said before? As you can see, it's a little bit of a um, a gloss kind of uh, watermark sort of uh, texture of like alchemical symbols and rings on the cover there, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, I've got Lust on the cover here. Um, so, nice colour pages. Ooh! So, ah, I didn't know there was colour pages in the actual manga as well, as obviously these are greyed out in the, in the original singles, so that's a nice surprise. Um, but yeah, um, so this is, I mean, volume 6, these are 1.5 volumes, so uh, that collects up to volume 9 of these singles, so a third of the way through of, oh god, a third of the way through the 27 volume long series um, full, full Metal Alchemist. I actually love Full Metal Alchemist, so I was more than happy to collect these and sell these singles, um, as I would like to kind of own, um, you know, my, some of my favourite manga in, in, in the best, most durable formats possible, so that's nice. Um, so that's about it for this month, I think. Uh, have I showed you everything? Yes, I have. So that's 20... I mean, barring the Dragon Ball box set, I think that's about 19 volumes. If my count is correct. Off the top of my head, I don't know. Um, but pretty substantial haul for March. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let me know what you've got for March, or what you've recently picked up. Uh, thank you for watching. See you later.